Ramble. Thank you to Bayes, Nutrafol, Drizzly, and BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. Good morning. Hello. Welcome to this week's episode of You Can Sit With Us. I'm Matt. I'm here with Becky. Hello. Maggie. Hi. Rainy. Hello. And today we are doing a deep dive. Deep dive. Deep dive. <laughs> we are interviewing Maggie. Talking and Matt. to Maggie. And I mean, Maggie's here too. Not as much. All I guess it is kind of all of us. We're interviewing yeah. each other. Matt didn't read the email. We <laughs> talked about I mean, I read it. I read it, but we're we're looking at what it's like to become, go from a secret girlfriend or to internet wife. Internet <laughs> or wife. Or internet boyfriend. Yeah. Internet <laughs> boyfriend. Yeah. Into internet boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Being a significant other to someone yeah. on the internet. Being hidden yeah. from the mm-hmm. YouTube to having your wedding documented. Yeah. Filmed and released online. Yeah. Yeah. But first, you guys, we got to do a little catchy catch. Yeah. Oh, let's catch do a little catch up. Yeah. A little what's happening. Yeah. Um, Rainy and Miles came up with these really adorable questions for us mm, to prompt thought adorbs. within our, yeah. our empty minds. I know. Conversation Sometimes we starters. like spend so much time together that we forget to like catch up on the pod and we get right down to business. So this is just going to be like a little reflective thing that we do up top and it'll change every week. And It'll just be so fun. It's just going to be cute. Well, let's stop yes. talking about it. Let's start talking about <laughs> it. You guys, what was the best thing you ate this last week? Oh, oh, who wants to go first? I, I mean, think you, you do. You seemed excited. Oh. I, think, I feel like you do. Oh. Your face was What was your best up. bite? Um, your best so bite. my best bite, I am such a potato slut. I love <laughs> potatoes. Hell yeah. Any sort of potato, mashed potato, potato salad, hot, That's cold, Eugene. French he fries. is obsessed mm-hmm. with potatoes. I love Very potatoes. Midwestern. Really? Yes. So there's this civil coffee, which has multiple locations. And I'm so sorry, but hopefully your town has somewhere equivalent that they sell this because it's really hard to make at home. They basically mandolin potato and like thin slice it very thin and then deep fry it. So it's just like an a thousand. Potato chip. Yeah. It's like potato gratin. <laughs> no, no. It's like potato <laughs> chips layered onto one another. A and layered. it's just, okay. it's like a croissant of potato. It's mm, so good. Crunchy. And, you, and they'll yeah. serve it with mm. a little aioli, a little ketchup, whatever you want to put on it. I like aioli personally, mm. but it is so good. I tried making it at home once. It is incredibly hard. I just don't have the patience for it. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that I found somewhere local that does it, <laughs> so I don't have to. <laughs> did you go alone? Were you a potato slut alone? Or did I am Zach a potato. With you? No, I went alone. I went <laughs> to go get coffee, and then so I this was is like, a breakfast item. Then, yeah, mm. most people like little treats in the morning, little sweets. He's a little treat guy in the morning. I am a little savory gal. Savory. Savory. So, how many times this week did you get that? Obviously once. <laughs> okay, I thought you were gonna be like, I get it. Every I mean, day I could now. get it every day. I get it every day now. But it's a little treat. Treats are supposed to be. If you have your treat every day, then it just like takes the treat out of. The then treat. you have a treat a day. Keeps the doctor. away. <gasps> That's what I always say. <laughs> Candy right. a day keeps the doctor away. Exactly. Your okay. Who's next? Your well, I had a really delicious um, treat that I think I know you've had. I, I'm assuming you've had it before, hmm. but it's the morning bun from Tartini <gasps> at the bakery. Those are good. Oh my god, that's my favorite. Um, I've been Tartine doing pastry. yes. I've been doing these little dates with Sarah Bonsignore oh, and Baby so Juju, Ooh. and we just like go hang out, have like a coffee or yeah. have like lunch. And this time she wanted to go to Tartine, and she was like, "We got our food," and she was like, "We should get." It, it was the same thing. She was like, "We should get a little treat and share it." <laughs> we earned it, and so we got the morning bun. Uh, Holy <gasps> shit! It's like huge. A it's huge. It kind of looks like a cinnamon roll, but like way lighter, not as dense. Mm-hmm. And then it's got sugar on the outside and like citrus, like, yeah, it's like orange built flavor. in. Yeah. It is good. Mm-hmm. It is so good. It's so flaky. I think my sister went once and brought three home for the week. <gasps> I tried to. Well, my parents are in town. And I was like, oh, I'll get some treats for them because they like little treats in the morning. Yeah. And by the time we were done with lunch, the morning buns were already sold out. Yeah, <gasps> they, sold out they, were like, yeah. they were like a hot ticket item. Um, it was so fucking good. Uh, and also we were sitting like in the middle of the restaurant and pro tip, if you have a baby sit in the middle of the restaurant, you will make so many friends. Really? Yes. There was a guy who literally was just like, Oh, I have a son his age. Do you live around here? Like we you could be, be baby friends. friends. And I was like, 
What is this world? <laughs> like, Apparently, baby friends, like, if you find your golden unicorn, yeah. that someone who lives close that you're compatible with and your babies get along and are the yeah. same age, that's like a unicorn. Yeah, they were, like, talking about, like, preschools and stuff like that. I was just like, this <gasps> is so funny. Huh? Like, just a random the random you know. man over here. Yeah. Want to be friends? Wanting to be a baby friend. I was like, does this happen often? She's like, kind of. Huh. People just want to talk to you if they also have babies of the same age. Yeah. Who knew? Like that Who is knew? so fucking sweet. I guess people do the same thing with dogs, kind of. I was gonna say mm-hmm. the same thing, but I didn't want to like, compare <laughs> someone's child to a dog. <laughs> I'm like, you know, when you first get a puppy, everyone's like, you're just a person magnet and yeah. a dog magnet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's mm-hmm. very true. Yeah. Yeah. That's very there true. There was one time when Eugene and I went to Tartine <laughs> and it made me so mad <laughs> because <laughs> the morning bun is my favorite, and he knows that. And he was in <gasps> he line knows. to get it, and I was I had gotten at the table, I was waiting mm-hmm. for him. And then he had like a coughing attack and he left the line. <gasps> Did and they got, sell and then when he got back in line, he was like further back. <gasps> and when he got there, the lady in front of him <gasps> literally got the last morning bun of the whole place. Oh, divorce, no. automatic divorce. The lady right in front of him. And I was like, <gasps> if you could have just held in your cough <laughs> yeah. for a couple minutes more, <sighs> I could have had my beautiful morning bun. Beaches. Instead, oh. I had to settle for like an almond croissant. Oh, you know, had not to as settle. Good. Not as good. Unacceptable. Not as special. Not not, not as much as what you want. No. I, I would have flipped tables for you. <laughs> yeah. That's what I felt like. It was so mad. I was so mad. I got the other morning. I was like, I want a cinnamon roll. I wanted it so badly. And Keith was like, just order one. And I was like, no, that's so stupid. It's like f- like $5. I was going to cost me like $10 to order it. But it was like <laughs> 7 a.m. And I had decided. I was like determined that I would get one. Mm-hmm. And so nobody had one. So I ordered cinnamon roll French toast from a restaurant. Oh, no. And I was like, this will be kind of the same thing. Wait Doesn't like sound an, like the same thing. Wait it's like not. an hour for it to get delivered. <laughs> Guy drops off the bag. I see him on the ring camera, and I'm like, that looks like a lot of food in that bag. <laughs> Go to open the bag. It's the wrong order. Oh, my God. After, was wait, it good stuff, at least? Yeah, it was chicken and waffles. It was two orders of chicken and waffles. So Keith was excited because he was like, I get breakfast today. It's almost like they knew you lived there. But I was like. It sounds I like Keith that actually switched your roll. order. <laughs> Imagine. I wanted that cinnamon roll so bad. And I was like, this is not the same. You just need to get like the frozen ones. You just yeah, pop them Yeah, the toaster should just I have them. Because I feel like you've, had, you've like wanted cinnamon rolls all the time. I do. I often wake up wanting cinnamon rolls. <laughs> like a couple weeks ago, we were in here and you're like, I want a cinnamon roll. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, Becky. <laughs> I know. Maybe I'll, well, our freezer's broken. That's oh, why I haven't right. had it. Because I would have put it. Well, do you put it in the freezer? I don't. I guess you put it in the fridge. I think it's the fridge. I think they also un- come in the like tube that you like. That it. one scares the shit out of me. I love opening those. Yeah. They just like those explode out. Oh those my God. So I never know where it's going to pop. Yeah. And ugh, it's very jarring. Uh, do you okay. have some like, oh, like, because uh, I feel like I never think to want a cinnamon roll. Do you have like a childhood oh Cinnabon. Thing, a Cinnabon, like a memory? I don't know. I just really like cinnamon flavored mm. things. Like I like yeah. cinnamon pastries. I like cinnamon candy churros I like cinnamon churros Yum. i just like cinnamon i think They're it's craving. just a general sugar yeah i love mm-hmm. sugar yeah I'm not it's really a texture to like the oh yeah do you like cinnamon doughy. like hard candies as well or do you like cinnamon powder i like like the cinnamon mints mm-hmm. but like we got my mom and i went to this candy store after dinner the other day mm-hmm. and i got jelly beans which the last time i got jelly beans at this place i was like <laughs> keith and i were sharing it and i was like I'm going to put some green apple in here. And Keith was like, that's the most disgusting flavor of jelly bean. Yeah, I have. And I was like, that's a great flavor. That's what I said. It It was delicious. Yeah. So I got the green apple and mixed with some other fruit. And my mom got all cinnamon. because She really likes cinnamon. So last night we were eating them. And Mm. she's like, let me try some of your fruity ones. She tried the green apple. She called it sewage water. Oh, no. I wonder if it's She said it tasted like sewage water. She said it tastes like all the other flavors were made. And they just said, what's left? (laughs) <laughs> and made a green apple. <laughs> I don't but understand why people like green apple flavor that much. It's I delicious. Do. Because it's yummy. Yeah. Tutti Fruity. Yes. Yeah. Laffy Taffy. No. So good. Oh, you know what's an or un... The um, caramel. Uh, a candy that I wish... It's underrated. I don't think anybody... Not a lot of people know about it, at least uh, that I've talked to. Have you had this giant Laffy Taffy, the sparkle one? It has hard candy kind of no. broken up and mixed in it. That Laffy Taffy's like 
the size of a room. What are you doing by these huge yes. things of Laffy Taffy? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they have these at like 7-Eleven. Yes. yes. <laughs> They're so good. Those are really good. When did you get that? For what purpose? <laughs> I like, think why I were you like, I need this today? Because it's delicious. It's <laughs> it's texturally perfect. Mm -hmm. It's chewy perfect. in two different Crunchy. completely ways. Crunchy. <laughs> Uh, Are they the also pop rocks? So they go off. In your oh, mouth? I wish, <laughs> but no. You guys should try it. Have you ever gotten a stale Laffy Taffy at the store? No. So I didn't know they could go stale. <laughs> oh my god, candy goes stale. If I get a bag of candy, it's not fresh. Have you ever gotten like Twizzlers? You can tell Twizzlers that I don't think I've ever actually and Twizzlers bought that are a bag of Twizzlers. <laughs> I think I've only had Twizzlers with you. <laughs> Are you a Twizzlers gal versus Red wrong Vine? With you? Red Vine versus Twizzlers. <laughs> you never bought Twizzlers? No. What do you eat at the movies? Popcorn. What do you eat on like a road trip or a plane? Sour Patch. Not can I don't. I don't do candy on trips. For anyone that's listening, Matt and I are mean mugging each other <laughs> with our disgust. What's wrong with you? <laughs> with our disgust. No, but Twizzler I know what you disgust. mean. I've yeah. had. This is like my only reservation from ordering the giant Laffy Taffy off of Amazon because I'm nervous it's going to oh, come you think stale. It'll be like seven oh, years old. Yeah. So God, it's not going to be stale. I'm going to wait for the next gas station. Just load up. Yeah, just load get up. like five or six. Well, my best bite this week was <laughs> superior to both of yours. Superior? It was candy corn. Um, don't lie. <laughs> I think I'm in, I'm officially in my tin fish era. Oh my God. Tin fish? Are you guys on tin, tin fish TikTok? No. <laughs> yes. <He's> like, <laughs> she's like, yes. It is. There well, are you so, are. Icky. so many yes. people. <laughs> there are so these... many people on TikTok. Yes. Tin eating fish tin boards. Fish. Yeah. What? All this stuff. Okay. What? So I actually sent Rainy the TikTok because <laughs> I got, I saw this and she's like, I was like, oh my God, this sounds so good. Because I'm normally an anchovies boy. I love anchovies. Love anchovies. I put anchovies on everything. Yeah, Everyone knows that. Whenever we go to restaurants, people always order anchovies for me. Mm -hmm. So I, I was like, okay, maybe I can expand a little bit into sardines. Mm. Right? So <laughs> on, on Fish Talk, there's this girl, I think her name's Day with May. And she like, <laughs> She like bought all of these and she went like to the factory and saw yeah. like how they did it. So I was like, okay, I need to try this. <laughs> so I went to this European wholesale store in LA and they had it. <gasps> so I had to get it. So what did you it's make? Delicious. You just had a bite of the tin fish. Or did you put it on? I just put, guzzled it down. Oh, no. you guzzled it? Oh, I was like, don't you put stuff <laughs> on it? Yeah, I'm like, what do you what do you do it? It's like a charcuterie board. Rainy, but Rainy will play for you. Yeah, wait, but before oh. before I do, does it have bones in it? Do the fish no, have they bones like, in it? They well, debone it? You can, you can buy it both ways. This one was deboned. Okay, and yeah. they have eyes in it, right? No, they... Dehead it. Yeah, they already chopped that off. <laughs> they like it. take out the Beheaded. all the guts and they... Yeah. Then Lisa it. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Matt, there's a can of sardines in my cabinet. But are they going to be good sardines? Though? I don't know, but Kim saw them and she goes, why didn't you give these to Matt? He loves anchovies. <laughs> and I said, but yeah, he loves anchovies. I don't know if he loves sardines. And she goes, okay, well, these were staring at me the last time I was here. Well, sardines, so well, they can last needs to like eat a them. really long time. <laughs> Obviously, they can last a long time. Yeah. But the sardines are bigger. Like anchovies are so small. Yeah. Mm. So the sardines are a lot bigger too. They're a lot like meatier. Mm. You know? But how I did it is I got some really great toasts. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I you know, I toasted it and then I, you put the sardines on top and this one has like this spicy oil on it. It was so good. And Ooh. then you just put some like lemon juice on top, maybe some herbs, whatever you have in the house. And then you just, you're done. So you made your perfect bite. Yeah. It was delicious. It was so good. You have to try. It was 10 out of 10. What did your garbage <laughs> Peggy's smell like? Face <laughs> is like dying. I feel like you should make it for me just to make sure it's yeah the best. We have to get a good one. And like most of the good Tin fish all come from like Portugal and Spain and stuff, mm. you know. Okay. This is my number one rated can of sardines. Welcome back to Tin Fish Talk with the magnum opus of tin sardines. This is Pinais Spice Sardines. Magnum Pinais opus. is the Portuguese domestic brand from the cannery of the same name who like, also produces the identical Neri brand products. It just looks so delicious. Everything about this is just carefully balanced tin. Art. The flavors are harmonious like with a little earthiness, they are. a brightness, and a little touch of spice that's so addictive see, and keeps like you her. wanting more. There's a good oh, reason it's been on, this way for yeah. over a hundred wow. years. If you want to learn more about the process of making these, I visited the factory in my last video. But for about six dollars, the quality to price ratio cannot be beaten. A number one is high praise, so have you tried it? You have to try it before you die. 
Oh, you have to try it before you die. <laughs> May. <laughs> Becky, you got to try it before you die. Life May. complete. I would try it. I would try a bite. Yeah. I would try a nibble before it I doesn't decided. taste like tinny at all. Or like yeah, what do you equate it to? Flavor. I mean, it honestly just tastes like cooked fish. Do they? Like spice. Is it in olive oil or? Well, it's you in like, it's, yeah, it's in oil with like spices and stuff. Yum. Mm. So what they do at the factory, because May also goes to the factory and she like shows you how they make all this stuff. Mm. And they catch the fish and then they gut it and they behead it and then they steam them is how they cook them. So oh. they're like really tender and then they pack them in the cans with, you know, whatever else they're going to put in with them. Mm. So then it like, you know, vacuums in the flavor. Yeah. And then they're good for years. Years. Well, we'll have years. to go to the Just European as as the yeah. store together. Yeah. It's so well, good. Yeah. So that was my best bite. So you need to ditch the Twizzlers, <laughs> Becky, and pick up the sardines. Maybe I will. I have to go to that European. <laughs> are, are we not saying the European store name for a oh, reason? Epicurious Gourmet. I don't Epicurious. know. Epicurious. Epicurious like, Gourmet. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, isn't that a website of recipes? Epicurious? Epicurious, Epicurious is, is a website. Is, yeah. Is this connected? Epicurious Gourmet. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. <gasps> it's, it's like a... European import warehouse mm -hmm. Whoa. in Los Angeles. Well, it's in the Valley. Yeah, it's in the Valley. And they just have a bunch of stuff. A lot of it is like very Italian, mm -hmm. French, but then they have other stuff. Ooh. Like if you're ever oh. looking for something that like, like an interesting ingredient, like they have a lot of like Asian, like spices and sauces and like noodles. Ooh. And then they also have like a lot of like European candies lots and of candies, treats, <laughs> lots of like cheeses, juices. Yeah, yeah. We usually go there when we need to make like a really nice cheese board. Ooh, I you know, like we'll do Trader is... Joe's for the easy ones. This the... is the fancy one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this. I urgently need to go. Like I might go today. You should go. The well, closed, it's closed on, on Mondays. Mondays. I made that mistake before. Randy looks <laughs> crushed. Yeah. Oh. You should go though. It, yeah. It's basically in this warehouse and you pull in and you think you're in the wrong spot. <gasps> but you're totally exactly allowed to be there. Yeah. Oh my God. You're allowed yeah. to be there for sure. Yeah. Oh my God. And they have like it's all different so kinds of like pastas that you can get like and like pasta sauces. Different olive oil. Yeah. Like it's so good. Yeah. Oh my God. They're thirsty. <laughs> Keith and I absolutely love having people over at our house, whether it's for a party or for a dinner. And sometimes those plans are made very last minute and we don't always have enough alcohol to supply at said parties. And that's why we love Drizzly. It's the most convenient way to buy beer, wine, and spirits with delivery to your doorstep in under 60 minutes. It's super easy to use, so convenient. You get at-home delivery in under 60 minutes. Personally, I am a huge seltzer fan, so that would be my number one go-to. But if it was just like a romantic evening in, obviously a nice bottle of red will do. With Drizzly, you'll always be able to find the best deals based on what's available instead of being stuck to the prices all at one place. You can also send alcohol right to your friends' and family's doorsteps. Drizzly is the number one app for alcohol delivery. Download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com, that's D-R-I-Z-L-Y dot com, and get your favorite drinks delivered today. Ding dong, it's Drizzly. Must be 21 plus, not available in all locations. Instead of spring cleaning, why not spring break from it all? Pack your bags and get ready to hit the road with bays. Whether you're headed to a music festival, a beach getaway, or a quick weekend, their luggage has got you covered. Plus, no need to clean anything out from your closet. Eugene always steals my Bays bag. It's just the perfect size. It helps you get through the airport really quickly and fits perfectly under the seat in front of you. Bays was created by actress Shay Mitchell to make sleek and affordable bags, luggage, and accessories designed to help you travel effortlessly while still looking fashionable. Their luggage comes in multiple sizes and colors, and for shorter trips, the Weekender bag is super functional and even has a place to store your shoes separately. Whether you're packing for a quick trip or looking to breeze through the security line, Bays has your personal items covered. Right now, Bays is offering our listeners 15% off your first purchase by visiting baystravel.com slash sit with us. Go to baystravel.com slash sit with us for 15% off your first purchase. That's B E I S travel.com slash sit with us. Who did you eat the sardines with? With Eugene. <gasps> Does he, and he likes them too. He likes anything seafood. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So he'll, yeah. you know, he eats everything. Is that he a sweet person? No, not. Well, he likes ice cream. Oh, yeah. He's mm. obsessed with ice cream. So 
if it's not ice cream, then he doesn't really care as much. What's his favorite ice cream place? Um, <laughs> like, where does he get, like, what is in your freezer at all times? Oh, he likes, like, the Talenti brand. <gasps> Talenti. Yeah, the, like, gelato. I feel like you guys always have the coffee one. Yeah. Well, I like more, like, caramely flavors. Mm-hmm. But I feel like he likes more, like, fruity <laughs> Ooh, I got a flavor for you in my freezer, Matt. The um, caramel sticky buns Mm. from Jenny's. It's vegan and it has pecans in it and it's Mm. caramel. Yeah. (laughs) So good. good. So good. I want it. I think about it when I'm in a restaurant. I'm like, I can't wait to go home and eat this. (laughs) I can't wait to go. I don't want to eat the food at this restaurant. I sit on my couch. Take me home. I want my TV show and my ice cream. (laughs) Um, I'm obsessed. Guys, speaking of TV shows, Mm. what is a YouTube video but TV on the internet? Mm. Truth. Truth. Period. Period. (laughs) On God, as Hannah Hosha would say. (laughs) Um, And with that, let's just jump right into it. All right. Let's jump right in. We have two people here today. Who were secrets. We were secrets. They were secrets. I feel like I wasn't as secretive as Maggie, though, was I? You were even more secretive than when I met you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who was more secretive. It was less of a big deal. I I would say it was less of a big deal. Yeah. Like, I feel like Zach actively kept his secret. Eugene just didn't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Because just in comment. Yeah. Zach is just very forthcoming. He's Mm -hmm. just Mm -hmm. is himself. Um... And I think it was really eating away at him that he couldn't share. Well, he yeah. wants to share everything. He taught me like he cannot hold secrets from me. He yeah. can't hold secrets from the I, audience. Well, his persona was also like so tied single to guy. being yeah. single. Yeah. 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 Was that annoying when you first started dating? Like he is not single. Yeah. It wasn't annoying just because that's who he was when we first met. And mm-hmm. so I kind of already knew what I was getting into, but I could tell it was eating away <laughs> at him, especially like he had to do a couple branded posts mm-hmm. for BuzzFeed for a dating app. Mm. And he's like, oh, this doesn't feel... This feels like a lie. I feel like I'm lying. Yeah, Mm. exactly. So I think after a certain point, um, he just wanted to share. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What was that beginning point like, I guess for both of you, Um, even though yours wasn't as like, we're not talking about this. Um, What was it like having that first conversation of like, okay, I feel like we should kind of keep this under wraps, keep it between ourselves. Was there that conversation? For me, it was, well, because Eugene and I started dating before he was even at BuzzFeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everyone there already like knew me Mm -hmm. and stuff. But for Eugene, it was more like he didn't, he wanted to keep something for himself Mm -hmm. and not for the internet. So that's more the reason why he just didn't talk about it. Yeah. It wasn't like, ooh, keep like a secret. Yeah. It was just like, keep something that, you know, because when you're online all the time, mm-hmm. you're kind of exposing everything and all of your life and all the details, mm-hmm. you know, are kind of exposed to the world. So Eugene was like, I'm going to keep you as the thing that I don't <gasps> talk about. You're my precious. Yeah. My precious. <laughs> my, my precious. My precious. Yeah. yeah. And then you and Zach went, what was it, two years? It was almost three. Almost three? It was almost what three. What was that, like, conversation like? Like, okay, we're going to keep this. So I know we got, from my perspective, we all got the talk of like, don't fucking tag Maggie and things. And oh, I was like, yeah. well, I'm going to post her because nobody needs to know she's your girlfriend. That I can she have female friend. friends. <laughs> <laughs> Same with You're Matt. You're not allowed to have friends, <laughs> Becky. No friends. Yeah. Yeah. Same with Matt. I would post them all the time in my stories and just be like, oh, they're just my friends. Yeah. I have friends. <laughs> you have lots of friends. Yeah. Um, the, I guess there wasn't really a discussion just because it was just presented. Zach was like, you're doing this. No, it wasn't so <laughs> You're doing it. You're doing it. And this is what we're doing. And you must be okay with it. Um, I think it was more so, I felt secure just because I had been introduced to Zach's parents and friends very early mm-hmm. on. Like I had met Becky the first night we met. I eventually yeah. met Matt and everyone. Mm-hmm. And I think that was like the most important thing to me, obviously. I didn't want, ever wanted to feel like he was hiding me from everyone, everyone. I had met so many people in the office. Um, Wait, that was actually a question from one of our listeners that mm. I was like, oh, that's interesting that people might have thought that. 
to clarify, Maggie was never a secret from people in Zach's life. No, <laughs> never. That right. even at like when the BuzzFeed like single mm-hmm. AF stuff was going on, it was never. Yeah, like, I I think I had gone down to the Zach had brought me into the cantina and introduced me to so many people. Yeah, it was never a, a personal secret. It was just a public secret. Yeah, just because we all have those in our lives. Yeah, you guys don't know about them, but we have them. Yeah, and that's okay. <laughs> But um, he was just making, he had like a series with Brock O'Hearn that he made with Single AF and he mm-hmm. just was making so many videos and he felt a little guilty that he wasn't able to share that part and it, he felt like he owed it to the audience to be true to who he was. Yeah. Um, but he was also nervous. We were also, I was, I was completely on the same page as him because mm-hmm. if we were to break up, you don't want that pressure. And you don't want to feel like you're performing, especially yeah. so early on in the root of your relationships. You really want to be able to get to know the person and not feel right. the added pressure of um, Other doing internet yeah. opinion. Yeah. <laughs> so we just kind of kept it under wraps for a while until we were sure that this person was someone I wanted to spend forever with. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And then what was it like when you came out? <laughs> came out. <laughs> When you came out, so you were hard launched in the Australia tour, or Woo! I guess I like the Try Guys launch. tour. It was a soft, soft week. I feel like they had the hard launch. It was like a hard. Yeah, video, I guess the whole video is a little harder. Yeah. But I guess to internet standards, a, a, a hard launch, a soft launch is when you can only like kind of see the person. Like yeah. you'll see like Eugene holding hands with someone. Well, That's like a soft this launch. Big the picture. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was like a little. Teeny but you got a full thought. Instagram post. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I remember. So yeah. what was that? What was that like for both of you? It was fine. Yeah. Anticlimactic <laughs> for me, I feel like. Yeah. Did you get a million followers all at once? Not all at once, but <laughs> they racked up pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. People but I'm interested. also not a person that like reads the comments of stuff because yeah. that just like plays in your mind. Mm-hmm. You know, so I didn't, so I don't know. Maybe it was more dramatic for other people. Maybe the audience actually hates you Maybe and you've never known could. about it. They could. They <laughs> yeah. could. You know, yeah. they really could. Thanks, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Just Thanks, kidding. Becky. Please say you're beautiful. <laughs> no, so I never like read the comments or anything. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe it was more dramatic. Yeah. Than, than how I experienced it. Mm-hmm. Right. I remember it was very exciting again to make this about me. Um, <laughs> when both of you were launched, I got to go through like my old pictures and find the ones that I really liked. You're like, and I then, wanted like, to post, post them on my stories. Yeah. Like I remember with Matt, oh I think I posted like just some cute picture that we had from some event where we were dressed up and Maggie, which people found out later was at my bachelorette party. Mm-hmm. So I, we took a bunch of like little, I mean, at the time that I know, know they're toogie now, but we took a bunch of boomerangs. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. <laughs> took a ton of boomerangs. Everyone was doing boomerangs back then. <laughs> yeah. So I David think musically Day, was Matt. around and we like stitched something together. Yeah, we cringe. did lots of cute little videos. So I was really excited to Hostella put those Miller. on the internet. Hostella Miller. Yeah, yeah. that was the theme. Wait, so Becky, fun. what about, so you, what was your relationship with the internet? I didn't, well, Keith really didn't do any couple content when he first went to BuzzFeed. It was a lot more of those like little, I'm trying to think what you compare it to. Cause it's not the same as like weird things your cat does. Yeah. But it was sort of, he did videos like that where mm-hmm. it was like more of a scripted edited thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then when I moved to LA, is when someone asked, oh, does your girlfriend want to be in this? I think our first video was like... Handcuffs. No, no, no. no. It was... um, (laughs) There was one where we diffused... I can't remember if it was we diffused a bomb or we tested out these like candy sex toys and like ate them. What an entrance. I know. A boom. (laughs) Candy. But I think most of the internet's reaction was actually like a lot of people thought Keith was gay. (laughs) Just because I don't know why that's like a default assumption if you don't talk about your love life as like a man on the internet. But a lot of people were like, a girlfriend. (laughs) And then like, you know, it had been, Keith and I had been dating for probably four or five years at that point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he sort of, yeah, you were there when he broke into the scene. So oh, it was never yeah. really like a, and you were always public, yeah. public facing. Yeah. yeah. I think I made my Instagram private for a little bit. And then I was like, why? I can make <laughs> money on this. <laughs> Basically, I was like, this could be a job. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was in makeup school. So I was like, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Public. (laughs) But we never really did any like fully. I think the handcuff video is like one of the only ones we did that was like very couple focused just because Keith was like, that's like not me. Mm. That's not 
I mean, that's also not our relationship. We're not very like PDA or mm -hmm. like mushy or anything like that. Unless one of so, us hurt. Unless one of us is hurt, then mm -hmm. then we're very cuddly, snuggly. Mm -hmm. But it takes a lot. It takes someone to be injured for <laughs> oh. public affection to happen. So I think that's why we like didn't didn't really do much. Yeah. For someone who's but, like uh, like totally out of the public eye, how would you describe like what's something surprising about like did you did you guys ever think you were going to be like a significant other to somebody famous. And like, how would you describe it to your younger self? Hmm. Are they famous? I know I still <laughs> internet famous, <laughs> internet famous. I'm just <sighs> I will say when I got this job, my sister was like, my parents were like, um, I don't know who these people are. And my sister was like, they are B list celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> I always say internet famous. Cause there are some yeah. people on the internet that like, are some people on TV that I've never heard of in my entire life. Right. Yeah, and then there true. are other people on the internet that you're like, Oh, I like, know this person mm -hmm. yeah. you know it's a different thing yeah and there's certain youtubers that are like universally more well known than others and oh yeah there's all these different mm -hmm. yeah. but um i feel like we actually i think they are famous i think most you think they're people famous? know who they are yeah well well now they do, <laughs> now they do. <laughs> but i think one of the reasons that like everything came to a sort of head last year yeah was traditional media's not understanding right. of internet yeah. celebrity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. It, so, do you, so yeah, like how would you describe being in the limelight? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I think it's fine. I never thought I would like marry someone famous when I was little, but when yeah. I was dating Keith, I knew he was going to be somebody. I, knew I was he like, was there's special. no way. Yeah. Like you, you see him there's perform. No there's way. no way this guy isn't doing yeah. yeah. Going to be successful Broadway. at something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's yeah. like a little show stealer yeah. guy. So mm -hmm. I knew that much, but I didn't think it'd be internet. Yeah. I mean, he was old when he got his job at BuzzFeed. He was him and Eugene were yeah. like, the oldest people like 20, in the room. like 26 year old interns or something. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So it was like, Oh, I really didn't even know what BuzzFeed was when they first got hired. No. no and I wasn't idea. much of a YouTube watcher. I watch like hair tutorials. Yeah. Like makeup no. tutorials. Yeah. Nothing. How to Dutch braid. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch like, <laughs> yeah, Andrew's weird things cats do. <laughs> I think the only thing that's weird is people come up to you all the time. I yeah. mean, not me to Eugene. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so that can be, take a while to get used to, mm -hmm. you know? So you, then you always have to feel like you have to look good. Yeah. Then people want to take pictures oh. of you. Oh yeah. You can't you look don't like have that. bad pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or like, you know, then your fan doesn't get a good picture of you because you didn't do your hair that day or something, you know, <laughs> there's a lot <laughs> more pressure true. for your image when you go out and stuff. And then also you just always have to kind of be on. Right. Mm. Right. Cause you don't want to yeah. be known as the jerk. Yeah. You want to be known as a nice person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I yeah. remember the hardest part for me was not so much how I dealt with all this. Cause I was, I had like a couple hundred followers on work and at, at, on my Instagram and then all of a sudden, one Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever it uh -huh. happened, I yeah. went from that to so many followers and my coworkers were like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> so it was more so adjusting to people's, everyone else's perception, like my family and friends' perception of what Ooh. was happening. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, okay, so you're famous? Yeah. You're like, <laughs> let me like tag you. Yeah, and sometimes I'd like yeah. flow <laughs> and I'd, there'd be like, new people who wanted to follow me and I always get I would get really uncomfortable when I'd have to share my socials and they'd have all these questions oh, and I'm like oh my god <laughs> yeah like, Wait a second. and they'd stalk for forever oh yeah and I'd be like oh gosh this <laughs> did you ever have um like awkward moments with like patients or family of patients because like when I was waiting tables I would have someone be like oh my god you're Keith's girlfriend and yeah. I'd be like and here's your side of fries. <laughs> <laughs> so like, nice I to meet know what you. to do. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah, okay. it's definitely happened quite a few times. Um, I've had multiple patients, patient siblings, patient parents who know who the Try Guys are and mm -hmm. get really excited. But it's all been positive. I think the only time that it's really embarrasses me, embarrassed me was when it was in front of my manager and my manager mm -hmm. had no idea. And then I had oh. to like explain to my manager. Yeah, that's less fun. Your yeah. manager didn't know? No, my manager. I mean, my, my manager was just like always in meetings and stuff. She wasn't like a part of the. She'd never watched the internet. No. Uh, I'm just kidding. So she's like, so what is this? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Tell me more. Yeah. 
And I remember leading up to it, I just had hundreds of friend requests or follow requests from mm-hmm. people because people oh, yeah. c- certain people were pretty tapped in and they were like who is this person why does Zach have a dog <laughs> out of nowhere that mm-hmm. is just like not his character at all mm-hmm. something's up something's <laughs> up. Is up yeah the internet sleuths were out yeah were I out. remember we went to the, the Orange karaoke. County oh remember that one <gasps> there were there were some fans that were on it we, we they were eagle eyed yeah Okay, there were one set of fans that screenshotted, uh, I think it was stories from either Eugene or Keith when we went to karaoke one night and they zoomed in and it was like, up next, Zach and Maggie. Stop. (laughs) Wherever, whenever, Shakira. (laughs) We were like, oh. Oh my God, they knew. But we could have been friends, who knows? Yeah. (laughs) Um, And then we went to the Orange County Fair one time and there was a couple of fans who posted on Twitter uh, photos of Zach and I holding hands in line. Oh. And that was a close one. Wow. That was kind of close to when Naughty holding the secret girlfriend mind. video came out. Yeah. But it wasn't like, like we were doing anything bad. Yeah. But, but I don't like non consensual photos. That's the one that bothers me the yeah. most. Mm-hmm. Like someone took a picture of me putting my shoes on at TSA once and I was like, that's just mean. Oh. I was like, it was like four AM. I'm like cute? bent over. Did you look cute? <laughs> no. See, I this is what I'm awful. saying. You feel like you always have to look good. I was like, I why know. are you putting this on the internet? I've been there, yeah. Someone's yeah. taking photos of me when my, I'm like slumped like a turtle, and I'm like, oh, I would have loved to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> slumped like, like a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> She's in her shell. Has I'm there been shell. any times where you've just been like mobbed? I don't like, think so. It happened one time with Eugene. It was really bad. We had really? to leave. Really? Yeah. The only time I remember is going mm-hmm. to that K pop. Did you go with us to that after mm-hmm. KCON? I think it was just me, Keith, and no, Eugene. I think I was traveling for work. But that was the one time where I was like, oh, this is scary. Someone should help us. And then the security guards made us leave. And we were like, okay, that's not really helping us. <laughs> kicked out. Yeah, they basically just kicked us out. Because one time we were in Vancouver at this Asian food festival. And it's like mm. out, you know, it's like outdoors. It's almost like a, f- a fairgrounds <laughs> type thing. Mm-hmm. And it just hundreds of like Asian food stalls. Yeah. So we had went to go you know, enjoy the festivities mobbed, like lines for pictures. It was crazy. We had to leave. There's like no way to like, yeah, you know, well, it's like unsafe at a certain point. Like that's a fire hazard. There's like two people. So then we're like, we just have to go. No food for us. You know? Yeah, that's hard. Because you can always think he's (laughs) in disguise or hiding. He's never in disguise. He'll like put on a hat. I'm like, that's not Hiding. Or he'll be like, I remember one time when we went to Disneyland, he's like, I'm wearing a disguise. He was wearing a Try Guy shirt. I he was, was like, wearing a, <laughs> sti- <laughs> a, s- a stitch hat. Eugene. Remember, I remember Come being on. at Epcot yeah. and we were all just like taking photos in front of like the Epcot sign and we turn around and it was just a sea of people and they yeah. all reminded me of just, it was crazy. But I think at that point I might have been, I can't remember if I was a secret then, but I remember just pretending to be manager and I'd be like, okay guys, we have to keep going now. <laughs> So Time how is the secret girlfriend reveal video? How was it? Yeah. How was it behind? I've never asked you. Yeah. Behind the scenes. Asked. Yeah. How you're feeling being like filmed like that for the first time. So I wasn't, Zach intentionally was like, I don't necessarily want you to, you don't need to be in this. <gasps> Maggie erasure again. Erasure. <laughs> no, he was just <laughs> saying justice like. for Maggie. <laughs> but you were in it. I just only come at in the at the end. end. Oh yeah, only at the end. And you can only just see end. my my little torso. Yeah. And oh. I just give Zach a hug. For some reason I feel like I see you in it more, but maybe that's just because I see you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I know Matt was like my secret date. We were the, like the plus ones that we would hang out together. Yeah. <laughs> when you yes. Eugene and Keith and everyone were taking photos, Matt and I would just hang, mm. hang out together in the Go corner. Hang out with Chara in the corner. Yeah. No. Chara. <laughs> yeah. But he had he had made it kind of he had told me he was working on something and then um, was excited on how he was going to present it and had this like vision on how he was going to do it. But he didn't want me to be a part of it because it's mm-hmm. like, okay, he's talking to the internet, mm-hmm. his fans, who he deeply cares about, and he wanted it to be more personal between him and the audience versus like me sitting in the background being mm-hmm. like, hey, I'm Maggie. Hi. <laughs> you should just kept walking. Hi. Yeah. yeah. And you get closer and closer. <laughs> yeah. and Every frame you're yeah. on, it's like the orphanage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, hey. That'd be so funny. <laughs> yeah. But it definitely took time. I don't think you, I mean, you didn't get to know who I was right off the bat. Mm-hmm. And it just yeah. like developed over a long time. And I just, it feels like no time has passed. Because now watching our wedding video, 
I went back and looked at the Secret of Girlfriend video and I looked at some comments. They're like, wow, now she's married. And it's yeah. crazy. Wow. It doesn't so what feel- was the first video that you were like fully in then? I'm trying to remember. I think it might have been, been. I think it might have been Try DIY. Yeah. And I, mm. yeah. And I think that was why. But you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to talk about it. But if you Try DIY. want to comment on why, mm. that was maybe not. It wasn't the a, best introduction to the internet. Yeah, it wasn't the best introduction. <clears throat> it wasn't a well-received video, and it was my first time being on camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's I, weird. Yeah, it's weird. As someone who's never been yeah. comfortable performing or even public speaking, like speech class was just so mm-hmm. difficult for me. I yeah. think mm-hmm. having not only are you performing mm-hmm. for your friends, mm-hmm. there's also camera people, there's light people, mm-hmm. there's sound people. Sound people. Art deck uh, yeah. People. And yeah. at the time the company was still pretty new. Like now anytime we come in for recordings, there's so many familiar faces, which yeah. is mm-hmm. like know everyone. Yeah. yeah. It's helpful. Yeah. I remember Miles being behind the camera. He was Gosh. so he gives like constant feedback. There's other people. I mean normally you're just like the camera people are just behind they're just like no reaction yeah just staring at you and you're just like am i doing okay <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. like open reactions on camera i don't not like a big i don't have big reactions either but anyway mm-hmm. yeah. enough on that you guys know all about it if you watch the yeah. try guys yeah. documentary when i think people mistake quietness for coldness mm-hmm. especially on the internet mm-hmm. if you're quiet or you don't have like large mm-hmm. reactions they're like oh i mean especially if you're female it's just oh you're a bitch mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you're bitchy. But, yeah. you know. And then being like a significant other to someone who is loved on the internet, like people get protective over them. and mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So what made you decide to keep going past well, this video? <laughs> what made me decide? I Well, I knew I wanted to be a part of Zach's life forever just because we're married. Now. <gasps> forever. Yeah. Senora. And Senora. not so much that I like wanted to be in videos, but I'm mm-hmm. like, this is so much a part of his life. Like I don't see a life with him if I'm not, I mean, I'm never like, the star of videos and stuff like that. But you're the star in my heart. Yeah, Becky. you're the star in our eyes. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I know. I remember Becky was so sweet. She's like, even if Zach's not dating Maggie by the time Keith and I get married, because you guys got engaged shortly after, Maggie mm-hmm. gets her own invite. Yeah. <laughs> she's showing up no matter I was like, what. Even if they break up, she's coming. She's with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's your friend now. Yeah. yeah. And I'd always tell Zach, don't you fucking mess this up. <laughs> yeah. So don't mess this up for me. <laughs> I think, yeah, seeing. Becky gave me a lot of strength. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously the support system. If Zach was like a single YouTuber and like had his own personal channel and like he was like his own brand and everything, I don't know if I would have been, it would have been as easy for me mm-hmm. to come. Yeah, that's true. Out. Yeah. Publicly. Because mm-hmm. you were always like support it. There was yeah. always, you never had to do anything like really by yourself after that. Yeah. It was like we were all kind of there or all kind of doing yeah. something. Yeah. Which I think makes it a lot easier. And something to note too is the Try Guys are so collaborative. Like they showcase their staff, they showcase mm-hmm. us, they showcase different right. creators, different, all sorts of different people. So it, <clears throat> I didn't see a world where it made sense for me to just hide behind, hide forever. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. So what took you on the journey as a fellow YouTube wedding I know. person? Yeah, I was going to ask. What was your journey like? What was my journey? Yeah. like? Because we had very different journeys. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yours we were, kind of. We were happened. at the big bad Buzzfeed. Yeah, <laughs> and I think you guys just like <laughs> the big we were, bad. We were the big juggling in the big bad <laughs> wolf. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think. Like, why did you decide that you're like okay, we can we can film this, we can put it online? Just because. We knew that it was going to be filmed no matter what. We wanted to have video mm-hmm. footage. Zach mm-hmm. is a video guy. We love photos, but yeah. I think videos, like being able to watch those in 10 years and mm. be like, wow, look how little we were, <laughs> is like very important. Um, so I think that was just kind of always part of the discussion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even if it was like a three minute clip, I think that Zach did want to share something Aww. that he's always yeah. wanted to do. He loves. Yeah. Throwing parties for his friends. He loves throwing parties no matter what, how big or small capacity there is. So I think that's something he's always been excited to share. And watching Keith like do his bachelor party and his wedding, he's like, mm-hmm. I think it's just something he wanted to share. Yeah. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. 
The past few years have been incredibly challenging. We've all learned a lot of things about ourselves and it was very eye-opening. It really changes your life to get to know yourself in a different way. And getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we are always growing and changing. You know, if we stayed stagnant all the time, there'd be no progress made. And that is what therapy is all about. It's about deepening your self-awareness and understanding. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. Here at You Can Sit With Us, we absolutely love therapy. It's really nice to have someone to bounce ideas off of that's totally impartial. Therapy is super helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash sit with us today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash sit with us. Millions of Americans experience thinning hair. This may feel frustrating, but it's completely normal and Nutrafol is here to help. Number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement for women. Clinically shown to improve your hair growth, visible thickness, and visible scalp coverage. From postpartum to menopause, Nutrafol has four unique formulas to support women. Each is physician formulated and using natural, drug-free, medical-grade ingredients. You can take their health and wellness quiz and identify causes of your thinning hair like stress, hormones, environment, nutrition, lifestyle, and metabolism through whole body health. In a clinical study, 86% of women reported improved hair growth after six months. Take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month's subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and enter code SITWITHUS. Find out why over 3,500 healthcare professionals recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code SITWITHUS. That's Nutrafol.com, promo code SITWITHUS. It's such a, like, happy, joyous moment. And, like, did you... Always know leading up, like how far in advance did you know from your wedding, Bex, that you were going to be I actually sharing? Don't remember, I remember they started did doing. You have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I remember they started doing vlogs. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so they were like, "It's going to be a vlog video," and I was like, "Oh, that's okay. It'll be nice and easy." Um, but honestly, like our reasons were like purely monetary. Um, remember, this was like six years ago. Right. I'm working at a long home counter. Yeah, <laughs> Keith is. No longer an intern, but, Mm -hmm. you know, not quite an owner of a company yet. So one, we thought people would give us free things. That was not true. (laughs) We did, in fact, pay for our whole wedding. Um, And then we also uh, in our our budget didn't account for a videographer. We were like it wasn't something that we had built in. And we were like, well, we're going to have pictures. So letting the vlog happen let us have better cameras at the wedding yeah and it let us have a video of our wedding that we didn't pay for right because without it we wouldn't have had one we would have just had our pictures which it turned out we really didn't like our picture (laughs) unfortunately (laughs) but that just happened yeah. And so. I feel like the videographers at your wedding, they weren't like intrusive. No. You know what I mean? Like no. I almost don't remember them being there. So it was kind of just like it a really, win. I think it was just the boys actually packed their own equipment, right. set up two stationary cameras, mm. and then everything else was done by cell phones. Blocks. Yeah. So it wasn't mm. like, it didn't feel yeah. like anyone was around or anyone was like yeah. watching anything. But I was definitely self-conscious like when it was coming out that it was like, you know, the Midwest is like a different place. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different place than our sweet far, coastal cities. Yeah. <laughs> far and exotic land. Yeah, the exotic corn cornfield. Yeah. So I was nervous that people were going to be like, oh, mm. this is like rinky dink or like, mm. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm always very concerned with everything no, being very fun. Midwestern. Yeah. Yeah. So I, it was a fun party. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. I had fun. Yeah, yeah it, was I fun. it was a fun wedding. We loved our wedding. Venue. I would do it yeah. again a uh, hundred times. Yeah, it was super fun. A hundred times. But I do think, yeah, one of the bigger misconceptions is that we got anything for free. I want to say that too. Zach and I did not get any sponsorships. We did <laughs> not get any free things. Yeah. We purely wanted to do this because we were excited to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that. We could have used... I've seen many... People's weddings that get free 100%. alcohol, free, sponsored. Yeah, by but Zach and I, <laughs> I dig that one. Okay, I would do that one. <laughs> Which one? Sponsored by Vov Clico. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, 
teach their own, but I just like <laughs> yeah, having like a good. thing. I mean, maybe the bachelorette found how fun, but, <laughs> but like just having Zach and I decided very early on, we were like, I don't want to have like a branded post in the middle of like a wedding video. That just yeah. seems like icky, but mm, teach, yeah, mm -hmm. teach their own. No judgment to anyone yeah. who does that. But I think there are those misconceptions mm -hmm. that, yeah. mm -hmm. that happens. Do I wish that this, our wedding video could be moved to the Try Guys channel? Yeah. So all those views could go to uplift the company that we current work for, currently work Absolutely. for? Absolutely. Yes. Is that possible? No. No. Well, you just got to have another wedding. <laughs> oh, that's it. I tell Keith all the tell time. Keith, time. Round two. I'm always like, I want to do another wedding. It was round so two. fun. I know. <laughs> like the most fun party. I know. I want to do another one so bad. I'm yeah. like excited for our next friend. I'm like, do you need any help? Do you need <laughs> me to do anything? You're like, I'm an expert What should we do? Now. What should we do? Yeah. Yeah. Was there any part of your... Um, this was one of the comments or questions from the audience that I was like, oh, this is a really good one. Mm -hmm. Was there any part of your wedding that you really loved that didn't make it into the video? Mm -hmm. And that you were like, what the heck? Because I have one. Yeah, I feel like the cake cutting. Uh, yeah. The cake cutting was really fun. I thought that was really cute. Here I was thinking I was going to have like a very like sweet cake cutting moment <laughs> and it turned into just like the craziest. Uh, Debauchery. That Debauchery. was like the Ora Loca. Yeah, yeah, that was the start of the Ora Loca. Yeah. But another part... We intentionally, I was really nervous to share my vows to the internet. Mm. The first cut of the wedding mm. video, yeah. Mm. Devlin had included more of my vows. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Zach's microphone was a little staticky. Um, so it intentionally started with me, then it went to him, then it went to me. But I think the first cut, it had a lot more because my vows were a lot longer and it just freaked me out. I'm like, that's going to be on the internet forever. I feel like this is something so deeply personal. Like I still want to be able to share because that's like one of my favorite things of going to a wedding is hearing from the bride and groom. Yeah. Mm. So I'm glad we included some, mm. but we had to, we had to reel it, reel it Rain back. It back. Rain, Rain it back. It back. Yeah. Rain yeah. it back. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What about you? What was the one you're Mine about? was we did for our first dance. We <gasps> oh, you're did. Right. Yeah. It was Frankie Valley in the four seasons. Um, can't take my eyes off of you. Cute. And I'm not a dancer by any means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so Keith was like, let's just do a really like slow, slow dance. And then every time it goes to the chorus, which at one point the song is only the chorus, yeah. turns into a kick line. And then all of our friends did a kick line with us. The only Cute. thing that made it into the video was us slow dancing. <laughs> so it just looked like so sad. Like yeah. we were just like, <laughs> but it didn't get filmed because they're, we're vlogging it and everyone started doing the kick line. Right. Oh. But we got a really good uh, shot from our photographer of us doing the kick line and all our friends mm. in the background. So, so I was cute. glad that we had that one. But that was the one that, that was, was a core like, memory dang, I want too. that one. Yeah. Yeah. I wish that could have been in the video. Yeah. Oh gosh. We were supposed to take da dance lessons. It was supposed to be a video, but it got canceled due to some RIP debauchery. Oh. R.I.P. Mm -hmm. But so Eugene choreographed our... I know. Within like... I remember like the day two before. Two seconds. Two yeah. seconds. He's like, just do this, do this. I was like, oh, gosh. So you need a couple key moves, you know? Key moves. Just a couple key moves. He saved us. It's fine. Because if not, I would have just been Zach and I waddling. Yeah. <laughs> so what did your mom think about you having the wedding online? Mm. She was so happy. She said that her really? and my dad watched oh my it God. multiple times. Oh, yeah. They were so, so happy. So she said it's the best wedding video she's ever seen. Did she send it to all she's her like, friends? She's like, I'm not biased. But yes. She probably sent oh, it to all yeah. her friends. So yeah. everyone who didn't make it to the wedding could I know. see it. got to see it. We that have is kind of nice that way. Yeah, yeah, we have family in Spain and Peru, uh, so she right. sent those yeah, out. Your family abroad. I know. We wish so that they could have come, but it was fun. Mm -hmm. She's so happy. She's like, I might be biased, but I think it's so good. It was Aww. beautiful. It was beautiful. And it never felt, I will say like the day of people are like, was it weird to feel like you were being filmed the entire mm -hmm. time? I barely felt like. It was the, like the same as a normal wedding. It wasn't like. Yeah. It's, it seemed like a normal wedding. Yeah. There was never any point. Like the, the only thing. Yeah. Zach stuff. made this clear too. He's like, I never want to be pulled aside and like do a front to camera unless like it comes naturally like I don't yeah. want to feel like I'm performing for my Well that wedding. was another question mm -hmm. from the audience is did you do any did you do multiple takes of anything? Never. To get oh, it right actually, for the video. I mean I know for pictures you'll do obviously yeah. <laughs> two multiple takes. Uh, we never practiced our but. dip because <laughs> Zach was leg was just still yeah. healing throughout all that point and I yeah. remember 
we had just said I do and we were coming down the aisle and I look at him and I'm like, oh no, we didn't practice our dip. And I like forgot which side based on his leg. Mm -hmm. So we tried one side for the photo and I was like, let's try another side just in case to make sure we got the shot. So we did a dip twice. But in regards to video, no, we didn't do multiple takes. Mm -hmm. Same. I feel like both weddings were very un- hindered mm-hmm. how, yeah, how did your parents feel about you your wedding being online yeah oh they loved it they love they watching did? it i mean they love watching oh everything i even watch yeah. it even though it goes to a different company <laughs> but i still, still give it views but they were okay while. with like anyone in the world can see your wedding yeah i think my mom was very didn't freak her out she was very like nervous and yeah. self-conscious mm-hmm. but she's so cute yeah like she's just adorable but she gets very nervous mm-hmm um about her. people watching it yeah and then i know one of her things so my brother our friend alex lewis played guitar where while one of my friends clayton sang while i walked down the aisle and something happened to alex's guitar in transit like something was wrong with it or mm. whatever but my brother plays guitar so my brother offered to drive to his house in chicago because we're in the suburbs to go get the guitar. So mm. he missed the rehearsal. Mm-hmm. And so when my brother and my mom walked down the aisle for some reason, my brother took her to like the left side. So they didn't walk down the front of the aisle. They walked down oh. like the very far oh. side of the aisle. And I know she's always, every time she watches the video, she's like, oh, I can't believe I let him do that. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't, I didn't shimmy she us was to the right way. Caught in the moment. Yeah. She's she was just caught, caught up moment. in the moment. Yeah. Yeah. But oh I remember gosh. that being one of the things she was like, ah, oh, dang, I'm so nervous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you send the video to anyone afterward that didn't get invited to your wedding? <gasps> I feel like that's so mean. Oh my God. No. <laughs> That didn't get invited. Hey, yeah. look You're at like, me. You're like, oh, sorry I couldn't yeah. invite you, but I really hope you enjoy <laughs> the video. <laughs> yeah. No. I wish you could have been there, but, <laughs> but here, like you were. Here are some memories. <laughs> but you weren't invited? So that who is did you, Who did you send Matt. it to, Maggie? Who did you send it to? I didn't send it to anybody. <laughs> She's like, name names. Name oh names. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I would cry if someone did that to me. I was like, thanks. <laughs> yeah. We were very fortunate that we hit like our number... We could have 150 people mm-hmm. and we made it right to 150 people with our wow. like A and B team invites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's you gotta crazy. have, you gotta have that B team. <laughs> it's crazy too. Cause Zach and I were engaged for three years and there was definitely people when we got closer to our wedding, they're like, Oh, I wish we could invite this pe- person and this person, but then in the video, that's so <laughs> <laughs> Matt's like trolling people. Like, yeah, how do you feel we got the- closer and we we're like, we wish we invited rainy. Thank you. We wish Rainy could. He basically, so cool. his was like, okay, we're going to invite all the staff that was like there yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. No, no, no. I figured it was then the, the plus guard. one. I know. Yeah. Because well. otherwise it's just giant. But um, how, how are you feeling now that it's out? Like how was Saturday for you? <gasps> it was, was it exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Now that all the videos have been released uh, into was, the wild. It was fun. It was like, felt like I got to relive it, even though it's happened mm-hmm. multiple months ago. It happened two months ago. Mm. Um. But it was fun. I hope people aren't getting sick of my photos because I have 2,600 photos from the <laughs> Woo! Vi- photographer. Yeah, I was release them. them all. Release <laughs> them. Every single day I'll be posting about A new my one. wedding until forever. So. Well, I just say you and Zach did the cutest thing instead of sending out like written thank you cards. Yeah, I like that. You guys sent emails to us with like a personal written thank you email attaching like, I don't know. 50 photos yeah. of us it at the wedding. It took so long. That, I thought yeah. that was we so made, thoughtful. I really I thought it was that. so cool. We're I still going through it. So if you're yeah. one of the wedding guests haven't gotten an email yet, don't worry. Zach and I are on it. <laughs> We're it's on happening it. soon. But we had to go through the 2,600 photos and we made like a matte photo. We made a <sighs> Eugene photo. We made yeah. a, we actually did Habersburgers, McKegs <laughs> photos. Yeah. And then like even there's certain guests, certain people have like at least four photos and then you guys had like obviously so, so many, many photos. So many. Yeah. 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 Also so our little fun. hand bones that. going in front of a camera. In the beginning, I thought I was going to print those <laughs> all, but I was like, people are going to appreciate these electronically. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. Digital mm-hmm. And then you have it forever. You're never like worried about misplacing it or. Yeah. If it's paper, I lose it. Anything else. Yeah. It's got to live in the digital world. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere up there. So I'm glad you guys have those. <laughs> yeah. So to end the podcast today, after we've talked about our lovely weddings and our coming out stories. <laughs> coming out. Yeah. For the internet. Yeah. Coming out for the internet. <laughs> Coming out for the internet. Um, what was the nicest? Co- this is from the audience. Mm. They wanted to know. What is the nicest comment you saw 
about yourself and your significant other, your wedding, any, do you remember any, will you say you don't read them? I don't, but my friend Dorian <laughs> sends me <laughs> That's true. videos, <laughs> videos that fans will like put together of like Aww. our love story oh, online. You like Cute those? Guy. It's so funny. Aww. Well, it's just like <laughs> clips of all the videos we've been in together and yeah. stuff. Even oh, from like sweet. podcasts. Really? And I'm like, this is, wow. They were like really. Fan cam. Dug, yeah. Fan cam. Fan dug cam. deep. So I feel like that's very nice. Yeah. You I know, it's very positive. Really sweet. Like a little encapsulating our love in a little video. Yeah. I yeah. like looking back on our wedding video and seeing the people who have said they watch it like multiple times. Because <laughs> I'm like, that's what I do too. I'll watch it like, you know, a couple times a year. Just be like, mm-hmm. aw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I like that always makes me really happy when people are like, I just like to watch this sometimes. It makes me feel good. <laughs> Aw, that is so sweet. I think that there was just like an over- overwhelming on Saturday. I just got an overwhelming response from both People who attended the wedding, people who have known me for a very long time, and fans that like it made them cry multiple mm. times. And I just Aww. feel like in order to elicit that response, I was like, wow. Especially I am the type of person that will cry at anybody's love stories. Uh, but I think there's not I don't go to not all weddings that I go to, I'll cry. Mm-hmm. And so for that to be palpable through video, I think it was really special. So Aww. thanks for being a part of our love story. Thanks for crying. Yeah. Thanks for crying with us. Thanks for <laughs> crying with us, guys. We yeah. love sharing these moments with you on the internet. And we yeah. also appreciate when you let us have our privacy with other things too, like our secret girlfriends and boyfriends and other, you know, life things that we want to keep to ourselves. We like sharing, but you gotta keep some things for yourself. You gotta keep keep some things for yourself. You gotta Man. have a my precious like Matt. Yeah. Matt is all of our my My precious. precious. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, feel free to drop in the comments some nice things about our coming out (laughs) videos and weddings. Um, And yeah, make sure you're washing your hands, wearing your mask, getting vaccinated, getting boosted. Be nice to people. Being nice to people. Be nice to to yourself. yourself. That was a Kelsey (laughs) one. I like that. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to yourself. Tip your servers. Wash your hands. Pee after sex. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.